Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, boy, have I got a treat for you right after this. Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Dead Man's Hand. Not just about the game. Um, I have a treat to show you uh, very shortly, but before and a slight disclaimer. I was contacted by Ben from Foreground last night uh, with regarding what I'm going to show you uh, to review something he was sent through to him by Stuart from Scrapescape Games. And Ben knows me, knows that I'm pretty honest in my sort of opinions on things. Oh, if I like something, I will like it. If I don't like it, I will say. So I do critique fairly both sides. But as I said, reviews of anything of any kind is subjective and it's based on the person reviewing and the viewer watching. What I might like, you may dislike, what you dislike, I might like. So it's subjective. So hopefully though, but together, looking at what I'm gonna show you, we can all have some fun. What I will show you first though, and to talk about first is, is the range of buildings that Foreground do for the Dead Man's Hand range. It's an extensive range of buildings, phenomenal range of buildings and really detailed. I, I've always loved them and that. I can remember going over into the studio and that many evenings and us talking about different buildings, different designs, what to use, what not to use, what works, what doesn't work. And we had some great fun in that design in some of these buildings and that. And I said, I, I've really had a great time sort of seeing the whole range grow from what it is. If you didn't know, um, on the instruction sheet of the buildings, it comes a sort of little paragraph of a backstory of each building. The land office here is based on Jamie, our son, and um, of his ownership of the land office. And when you come into the town, you've got to go and see him if you want to purchase land and apply for the land purchase. Uh, brilliant little backstory in that, but all the buildings have their own little story, which fits into the wider scope of Dead Man's Hand itself and the backstory and the history of Dead Man's Hand. So again, if you haven't never noticed those little instructions and that, worth going along and having a look at them. So, what is this video all about today? Well, here it is. Package from Great Escape Games, obviously it's time again, which is foreground. Um, and say so Ben's asked me to, to review the plastic spray. I'll put that there now. And I have to say, just taking it out of the packet, I, I fell in love with these. Um, they are exquisite. I just, just looking at them, they are really, really detailed. I tell you what, there's enough of me rambling. Why don't I turn the camera down and let's have a closer look together and that way we can see it all together because there's no point in me holding this up in front of this. So let's get the camera down. So here we have then guys, the plastic 28 millimeter Dead Man's Hand Wild West figures on the sprue and that. Excuse me hands there as we go through this review. I have to say, I mean, you just look at it. It is brimming with customization there. Different weapons, different heads. But it looks like you can make five miniatures off this sprue. And again, sort of with all those customizations of arms and heads and that, you know, you can take a little while before you start duplicating the figures and that. So I think that's really good. I think that's well designed. I mean, say whoever's designed these figures, just looking at them and that would be absolutely excellent. And I'm not just saying that because I'm reviewing it, but I do really believe these are really nice miniatures. And I have seen them made up. Um, and they do fit in nicely with the previous range. I would say slightly bigger, but not not that you would notice, to be fair. Um, but as I said, really, really, really nicely done. Really nicely sculpted. Um, yeah, that's all the heads there. Again, look at the detail in the faces and that. I think, again, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic work there. I'm trying to keep it straight for you and steady. <laughs> and different sort of weapons, sort of right-armed weapons, right-handed weapons, left-handed weapons. You've got Smith & Wessons by the looks of it. Uh, peacemakers, all holstered weapons. So again, you can sort of do a lot of customizations just with those. Yeah, as I said, five miniatures you can make up there. If you can see, you've got one kneeling down the bottom here and obviously the other four standing. Various sort of, um, sort of long coats, short coats leather jackets and so forth. So again, you've got sort of, you, you can paint them, have some fun really painting these up. This arm here, I've got to turn it around and show you because I like this arm. This, this I think it's a nice bit of detail. There he is here on this one here. With his saddlebags over his shoulder. I just think that's fantastic. They've gone into the bank, they've raided the bank and they're making a break for it. We've got the loot over his shoulder and the saddlebags and that. <laughs> that's really, really cool. But um, as I said, let's turn it back around a minute. There he 
we are. As I said, there's loads and loads and loads of detail in that in these miniatures. I'll just come down the bottom here a minute. There we are, and I'll turn them right. So you can see these ones on this side. There we are. So again, you've got more revolvers. Um, by the looks of it, you've got, uh, there's the hand there, and there's a double-barreled shotgun you can make out, out of there. Uh, you've got a carbine. You've got, by the looks of it, a winchester type rifle, repeating rifle. And again, you've got a bit of rope there, which I quite like, and a cacti which you can stick on a base. <laughs> That's quite, quite nice. I'll just turn them over. There we are. And as I said, the detailing on these miniatures are exquisite. And I say hats off to Stuart at Great Escape Games. I think, you know, the sculptor has done a fantastic job and you've got to be pleased with them. Really have. I mean, you can just imagine creating different posses. You know, you've got, you can take your law and your cowboys or your sort of desperados. You know, really, really, really nice. Let's just take one more last sort of spin around so you can see them. And uh, there we are there. But as I said, if any of you are looking to get into playing Dead Man's Hand, now's the time. Jump in on these. These are, as I said, £15 for two sprues in the pack. Loads of customization, and if you can imagine about you know you're creating a campaign and that, and you're going up through, and your guy's got upgrade, he's gone from a pistol, he's now got a rifle. For that sort of money, I don't mind spending out and getting the extra bits and pieces and that to make it, you know, to build your characters up and that and sort of equip them with what they're supposed to have and that. That's, that's just fun to me. That's how I play it. But as I said, Stuart, hats off to you, mate, and thanks to Ben at Foreground for letting me have a look at this sprue and showing you guys. There are, as I said, Foreground are making some up at the moment and they are painting them up. Um, so obviously you'll see some of them on their Facebook page with their buildings and et cetera and that in, in the near future. But as I say, this is just a sort of a quick look at the sprue itself so you guys can get, get an impression of what it's like and get it out there to show people. But as I said, once again, thanks to Stuart, Grayscape Games for allowing me to do that. Much appreciated, mate, thank you. And uh, I hope you guys like what you see so far. And if you do, give it a thumbs up. And please, you know, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It all helps us out and hit the notification and that. It helps us all out and that and gets, gets us out there a bit more. And to all our subscribers and that, and our recent subscribers, a huge thank you for jumping on board. And hopefully you're seeing something else that you haven't seen before or something you've sort of thought we might want to dip into, but never sort of, uh, sort of had, had the opportunity. But um, till next time, guys, please stay safe, please stay well. And I hope your projects are going well. And until then, happy wargaming. Thank you.